Hey peeps, I'm back! New Instagram story design, new tutorial and brand new office. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at tronicsdesigns.com as always. So yeah, guys, first of all, I have a brand new office. Woo! As you guys can see, with even a purple light. Give me a thumbs up if you like this office space and if it looks kind of cool. So yeah, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about Instagram story designs in Photoshop. It's similar to last week, but just a few different tweaks and also some different effects. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get right away into the tutorial. First of all, what I will do is create a new empty layer and again make this a black layer. So I'm going to take my rectangular marking tool, I'm going to make a complete selection. Oh, by the way, you're not sure what's happening right now? Click on the cards up here, it'll take you to the tutorial from last week where we talk about canvas sizes for Instagram stories. Now, if you want the PSDs, backgrounds, brushes, shapes, everything that I create for this channel, you can also click on the Tronics Design Media Package and for $4.99 a month, you get everything on a monthly basis that I create for this channel. A complete selection, right click, say fill, and I'm gonna fill this with black contents. Hit OK and Command D, get out of the selection. Again, Windows users, please remember to press Control when I say Command. Okay, so that's our first layer. Our second layer will now be also a green layer again. So I'm gonna take the marking tool again, right click again, and say fill over here. Just this, th this time I will select the color. So select color, and over here I will have my hashtag number. Again, you guys can also copy it here, or if you want, have a look down below in the description. I've added it for you. So, there we go. 658475, okay? And I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, Command D, get out of the selection. So it's a nice washed out green. Okay, I'm gonna like, the, I'm gonna stay with that. Then I will switch out of uh, my canvas here and head over to my background design. So it's some leaves, some very close up leaves. And let's move that also into our whole canvas over here. Okay, it's nice and big. I'm then gonna press F again to make it a full screen mode. Z to zoom out a little bit. And now I'm gonna press Command T in order to transform this a little bit because this picture is quite big. Okay, so select Shift, hold an anchor point, and we're just going to downscale this a bit. And somewhere over here, like so. I can even try to make it a bit smaller. I would like to be a bit closer in, so I'm not trying to make it very small. Something like this. Let's have a look when I get OK. And guys, I'm also going to keep here my reference in the background so we can see a bit where to place things and it looks very similar then. Obviously you guys can also download this for one week down below in the description where you can use this as a reference as well. Okay, let's open this again. So it has pretty much the same size. It's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna press Command T again and just make it a tiny bit smaller and just place it again. So let's have a look before and after. It's slightly bit bigger. One more time, Command T, still a bit smaller and placing it. Okay, I'm happy with this and can work with this. Okay, let's turn everything on again. And now obviously we have our background layer here, our green and black, we need to first tweak that a little bit. So my first step that I'm gonna do now is tweak the opacities slightly of these layers. So my green layer, I would start with that about 50%. So we're taking it down. And then also our background layer here, let's maybe just rename that to background. I will also take that down to 50%. Okay, so I'm already getting a, like, a bit of a washed out look there. But I think I will adjust, create now an adjustment layer with a selective color adjustment layer and then also some curves and then tweak those a bit. And determined by that, I will then tweak again the two other layers here. So let's go and do that. I'm going to select the adjustments over here and go to selective color. With yours, it will mostly be say gray, uh, red or yellow or something. Please switch it to the black tones so we can only work in the black tones. So first of all, I'm going to take the blacks now and move my slider left and right to just see what kind of effect do I get. So I don't want a white washed out look. I want a bit of contrast. So I'm going to go with like a plus five or six. Okay, somewhere around there. Then again, obviously we have a lot of yellow in here. So let's tweak the yellows a little bit down. So I want to check how much blues I can get and more purple kind of touch to my image. And I think I'm going to go with like a minus 10, minus 12. 
this is obviously completely up to you as well, how your taste is and what you like for a look and feel. Okay, then magentas. Let's have a look. I want to give those blacks a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to go with like a plus two or three. Yeah, I think little plus seven is already too much. I'm going to go with like plus four to three. Okay, now let's tweak the cyans a little bit. I'm also going to push them up a little bit just to give a little bit of a blue tint to this as well. Mm, I'm going to go with like a plus eight. Okay, great. Happy with that. But I still want a bit more of a washed out look. And I also want to flatten the blacks a little bit. So I'm going to go back to adjustments, back to the curves adjustment layer. And I'm first now going to place some anchor points. So not my complete curve is um, adjusted here. So I'm going to put an anchor point in here in here and in here. Great. Now I'm going to take the bottom one and just slightly move it up so you guys can see how the blacks get flattened completely over here. Okay, like so. And then also I'm going to push my highlights slightly at the top. Okay, let's move them up. So just flatten those highlights a little bit. I can still take the blacks down a bit if they are too much for me. Yeah, like so. I like that. Okay, let's have a look before and after, before and after. So it's a bit more flat now. But now I would like to go actually back to my layers here, my original layers, and tweak them down a little bit more in order to get a bit more darkness out of the image. So with this, let's go down to like 30. Mm, yeah, I'm going to stick with 30 for now, uh, but I need to also adjust my greens here because they are quite intense right now. It looks quite green. So let's take them down quite a lot. And here I'm going to stick with around 30%. Yep, happy with that. Background, maybe let's have a look. I'm going to go up a little bit. Somewhere around 38 to 40%. Okay, and that's basically it already. Yep, they already have my simple washed out look for my background. So again, this is obviously just with the layer and then a little bit of color on top here and then my curves adjustment layer just to get that flat look. Okay, great. So let's get right away over now to the design. Uh, super easy as well. For this, just remember, I will use our background layer here. Let me just create a group quickly out of our layers. I'll write here background. Okay, and I'm going to use this as a bit of a reference. I can also see here if I go before and after, I have a bit more contrast in my previous image, which we can obviously then tweak a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically create two guidelines. So obviously you guys don't have this now. You can either download this for a week for free down below in the description, but you can then also take a guideline down and just place a guideline here in order to have the similar size. Okay, I'm going to go like this, just create a guideline over here, it's almost centered there, I'm going to zoom out a little bit again, and obviously create a new layer, take the marking tool once again, I'm going to press Z on the keyboard, zoom in a little bit, and then M for the marking tool, and just create a nice selection over here, and copy exactly the white area. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, right click on it, fill, and fill it open with white, sorry. Okay, press enter, command D, get out of the selection, and right away we have also a stripe there at the top. Let me just turn this on so you guys can get to see this. Okay, the next step I will do is just call this line, maybe even top. You can rename your layers obviously as you like. And I'm going to press command J. Remember, Windows users, use control. I'm going to command J and duplicate this layer and quickly rename this to line bottom. Then let's move that to the bottom, the layer. It's just a bit easier for me so I don't get confused. I'm going to use the move tool and just move this all the way down to clip here to the bottom. Okay, let me zoom in with Z just to see where we are and place this somewhere over here. Great. I'm going to zoom out again and right away I have my two stripes or two lines here in my design. I can also go back to view and say clear the guides over here. Guys, if you also don't have the rulers, please press command R in order to get the rulers or go back to view and just select rulers over here. Okay, so I'm going to go to view, clear the guides and have already a bit of a design here. Now, let's head over to the second step, which is then again creating just the follow us and website.com. So I'm going to select this T on the keyboard here. 
and just make a selection and first of all write follow us. Let's just have a look here. Follow us. Okay, select all of it with command A. Go to the top and select the white foreground color. And I'm going to make this a bit smaller. See, there's a spelling mistake. Let's select all of it. And I'm going to first select the right font. So this is again called Mont Syria. And I'm going to go with semi bold for this. Again, you guys can also have a look down below in the description. I've added all of that for you guys. Okay, follow us like so. I'm going to accept it, move it a little bit down. And I'm still not happy so much with the size. So I'm going to make the size a bit smaller. Let's go like with a 40%. Okay, and my tracking for this, I would also like to up my tracking a little bit. So let's go to the character box. If you guys don't have the character box, remember, go back to window and select the character box. So over here, I would to extend this a little bit. Mm, maybe to like a 400 or something, 300. I'm going to accept it and move it down a little bit. And I just want to quickly have a look at our reference. Yep, over here, it's a bit higher. So again, follow us. I will just move this a little bit up. Okay, great. Now, let's zoom out again with Z. And I will turn off or turn on the background layer again and just duplicate the follow us layer. So press Command J, duplicate that and move it all the way down to the bottom and double tap on here and we're going to call this website. So this obviously will be your website. So website.com. Move it all the down, website.com and let's have a look here if I'm going to turn off the background layer and just go back to the top. I'm going to move it a little bit up like so. Great. So now it's positioned right away into the right position. I'm going to go background. Yep, happy with that. Let's move it down a little bit more. And now let's get over to our final step. So that would be again pressing T on the keyboard. I'm going to make a nice big selection here and start with, I'm not sure right now, with nature always wears. Okay, so let's go start with the first word, which is nature. Okay, select all of it. And here I'm going to select the right font again. And this time it is Selima, not Selima Gomez, just Selima. <laughs> and then uh, the tracking needs to go down a bit, like minus 40. Yeah, around like this. And I'm going to make it nice and big. So let's have a look. 160, 180. I'm going to accept this. And first of all, going to go just quickly back to my reference. Okay, let's have a look. So I want it to look very, very similar, obviously. So let's select it again. I'm going to make it a bit bigger still. Okay, and move this down. We can still make it a bit bigger to like say actually let's go with the 200 yeah i'm gonna go with the 200 okay let's put it over here now let's turn this off the background layer again and we're just going to duplicate this so again select this layer the nature layer press command j duplicate it and we'll write the next word which is be always okay nature always i can actually turn this on so it's a bit quicker and easier for us Nature always wears blah, 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 the whole thing. So you have to do that. Command J, duplicate that once again. We're going to rename this again, but also keep it in small letters. Wears, then you could duplicate it again. Command J. Okay, then we write here the colors. Okay, so accept that. I'm going to move this a little bit over. Press Command J once again. Move this down. Select it and write of the... I'm going to enter, press Command J, duplicate that li layer, and select it again. Right, spirit. Okay, so typed all of that out. Now we have to place the stuff. So let's go over to always. I'm going to move that over here. And first of all, going to make this a bit smaller. Let's have a look. It's a, just a tiny tad bit smaller. Like so, 95. Okay, move that over here. I'm going to take where's and move that over there. Something like this. The color, we have to do the same. Let's also make that a bit smaller again. So this will be obviously quite smaller. 
and you have to kind of fit things a bit together. So, like I said before, download the reference down below. And then, obviously, you can try to put it in the same position. Or if you have a certain slogan, if you go to Google, there's quite a lot of references how to place text really nicely with also the same font, or they're giving you the font. Um, then you can get some really cool designs out of that. I'm going to go off the and spirit. Let's move that over. And this one I'm going to make a bit bigger, like so. And we move it over here. OK, let's turn off our uh, reference layer here, background. I would like first to have a look myself for it. I'm going to take spirit again, make this a bit bigger. And I'm customizing it a little bit to my preference and what I like. OK, and then obviously you guys can do the same. Here, color. I also want to move that in a little bit. Nope, let's take that out colors and where's so basically I'm just aligning things now a bit and placing them into positions where I feel yeah this works okay and always great so that's basically it's already how to create it very simple then last step you can do is obviously take all these layers and put them together in a group command G and we just rename them to design cool in the background now I can over here still tweak that a little bit. Like I said before, these two are a bit darker, as you guys can see. So this is a bit brighter here. I can actually go to the background layer here and just turn this down a little bit more just so my image gets a bit darker. Depends also on what you like, right? So background. So the layer 2 here is now to 14%. Background is to 41%. And I'm still going to go here back to my curves adjustment layer. And just trying to tweak my blacks down a little bit more with the anchor point. Remember, it is getting quite green now. So I just need to be careful on that. So let's go back to our selective color adjustment layer. And just tweak it a little bit more. Okay, that will affect our greens. I would like to go back to the blacks here. And let's give this a bit more magenta look instead of that green yellow look. Back to background. Tweak this down a bit more with the opacity. And I'm actually going to end off with a 40%. So yeah, now I have a bit more contrast, as you guys can see. So yeah, play a bit around until you are happy with this. So yeah, guys, that's it for this week's Photoshop design tutorial, Instagram stories in Photoshop. Now, before you run away, if you want all the PSDs, background shapes, brushes, actions, everything that I create throughout this channel, you can actually get it now for $4.99 a month on the Tronics Design Media Package. Click here on the card at the top. I've added the link there for you that takes you straight to the website. Now, what do you get once you join? You will get once a month an email with all the updates, all the files that we have created throughout the month for Tronics Design Media and for Tronics Design's YouTube channel. So you will get everything in that download for $4.99 a month. So yeah, do have a look at that. Then as well, if you can't get enough of Photoshop and you just love it so much as I do, click on the little subscribe down below, hit the bell, and I'll send you free Photoshop tutorials every single week. So yeah guys, that's it for me. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Also let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see here on the channel in the future. What type of tutorial, technique, anything that can help you out there. So yeah, guys, that's all from me. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. See ya!